me welcome you to this course on Piaget in which we're going to look at his theories and study some of the concepts of pedagogy. I believe that this course will be very enjoyable to you. I hope you get a lot of, out of it and that you learn a lot from it. The first thing that we're going to do in this, this first module is we're going to look at classifications of psychological theories. Now I want to remind you that we're going to review three. There are very many types of psychological theories about cognitive development and intellect and how people think and what they do. Now I'm going to shock you. They're all wrong and they're all right at the same time. Uh, every one of these theories has good to it. Uh, every one of them has error in it. There is no one theory that explains it to everyone. So be a little bit compassionate with me as you look at this. Now I'm going to take you back to the website and uh, we'll scroll down here. And the first one we're going to look at is Romanticism and Maturationism. Now, these two theories, I'll get it to load up hopefully here in a second. There it goes. Romanticism is about strong internal feelings. Now, it and it and the theory of uh, Maturationism are based upon the fact that a person has an internal uh, system and that internal system is genetically inquired and it determines what a person's going to do. Um, the genetic factor in these theories plays a large role in emotion and in learning. Hmm. I hope you got good genes because if you don't you might be in trouble. Now we're going to swing back out here in just a second and we're going to look at one of the other theories. Uh, we'll move to that. Piaget was not into romanticism and uh, and uh, maturism, and or was he into cultural tra transmission or behaviorism? While the uh, first two theories teach us that those skills are innate, the cultural learning and cultural transmission and so forth show uh, are the opinion that what you are is what society or what your culture has made you. Now, that's an interesting theory, and I suggest that you go into that website and look at it in detail. You might want to read the issues here that we have in regard to behaviorism, and behaviorism is about operant conditioning. It is about uh, something acting on you, and you respond to it, and based upon that, you make a decision. Now, I want to remind you again that Piaget was not into Romanticism and Maturationism, nor was he in cultural transmission and behaviorism. What Piaget was in was cognitive development. Now, progressivism is uh, a theory of uh, uh, you hit at a certain point and then you move forward, you interact with your environment, you interact with your genetics, you interact with other people, you interact with your experiences, and therefore you make decisions. Now. Uh, or you conquer things. And I want you to look at this on cognitive development because it really is a fascinating concept. Uh, it actually names uh, Jean Piaget or Jean Piaget as uh, being the founder of cognitive development. Piaget's theory teach us that a, a person is born into the world and they begin from the minute they get here interacting with their world. And as they interact with their world, they, they, they interpret it, they uh, describe it, they find out about it, and uh, it's going to be very interesting. We're going to study his four stages in this course, but you've just had a brief overview of these four theories. Remember that no theory is totally correct. All theories have good in them, and... Uh, you can spend a little time studying those on the website. You might see some of them on the test. Welcome to the dog cave. This is my office at home, and uh, I'll be doing a lot of recording from here when the grandkids aren't present. When they're here, we have to hang from the light bulbs like bats by our feet and experience our environment in a Piagetian me uh, method. I want you to look at those theories that we've just discussed, those major schools of thought. There are many other schools of thought. So I've said none of them is exactly perfect, and none of them is 100% wrong either. All of them have strengths and weaknesses. But Piaget was the father of cognitive development. And what he did in, in establishing cognitive development, 
is demonstrate that children are not just little adults, that children think differently, that they interact differently within society and their world and their environment than do adults. It might be said that Piaget is the father of pedagogy, the study of teaching children. And you are aware that pedagogy is the science of teaching children. Uh, andragogy is the science of teaching adults. So give some thought to that, and let's see how this thing comes out. Good luck. Proceed on through the lectures. You're doing well.